everybody. Woody here. Um, got a hopefully quick one for you today. Um, I was recently helping with a lift kit on a 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 Denali Ultimate. That's entirely too many words to describe one freaking truck. Um, we were doing a Pro Comp five and a half inch lift to fit some 37, 13, 50, 22 Nitto Trail Grapplers on 22 by 12 wheels. Um, that is not a friendly combination for these trucks with a five and a half inch lift. So we did what we could in terms of trimming the front of the wheel, the front of the front wheel openings. The rear wasn't too bad. Uh, John did a really good job of cutting back the mud flaps and you know just cleaning that up, making it look good while clearing, while driving. But the front side was giving us a lot of trouble uh, as usual. The driver's side of the front bumper has a block heater plug very close to the fender opening, the fender, the wheel opening of the fender, I guess you would say. So we trimmed as close to that as we could. That was not nearly enough and shimming the bumper would not have given enough clearance without looking like complete garbage. So to make sure that we had enough clearance for him to be able to drive on our gloriously shitty roads here in Louisiana and not potentially hit a bump big enough to cause rubbing against the bumper or you know rip off the bumper or something worse, gouge a tire, something along those lines, um, we decided to go ahead and trim forward of the block heater plug, which required removing the plug to relocate it. In this particular instance, we relocated it into his glove box because at least currently it's about 98 degrees in Louisiana and we generally don't get cold enough to utilize block heater plug, block heaters in general. Um, he will still have it. It'll take five minutes to hook it back up if he decided that he wanted to do that in the future. Um, but bottom line, we needed to get the block heater plug out of the bumper to either remove it or at least relocate it. And I couldn't find anything online about uh, how to disconnect the block heater to, sorry, the block heater plug um, to fish it out of the bumper to either remove it or relocate it. So I figured I'd throw together a quick video, kind of explain a couple of things and show you guys the connection point and how to actually remove it from the bumper, just in case that might help somebody else in the future. Um, this should be the same for, I think, think the 19 and newer, um, I believe the block heater plug on the 19 to 21 or 22 may be a little bit different. I don't know if the plug itself is different for the 23, 24 model, but I believe the connection point on the back of the plug is going to be the same um, as far as the wiring and such. But bottom line, this should at least give you enough of an outline to be able to trace it down and get it out for trimming. Uh, to relocate it or delete it or whatever you need to do from there. So let's um, let's dive right in. I don't know if you can hear this over the fan, but if you follow the wire from the block heater up to the radiator core behind the fender liner, this plug here, you have a clip on the side. It'll pop out and then just follow your little plastic retainers all the way down to the block heater. And then once I fish it out, I'll show you how to disconnect it at the bumper. So you can see here where we trimmed, trying to make clearance for the 37, 13, 50s on the 22 by 12s um, without actually getting into the block heater plug. And that just wasn't happening. So the next cut was going to be through this space. So we decided that it was going to be best to just go ahead and take out the whole thing. Um, and as a part of that, uh, we needed to get it unplugged on the back side to be able to fish it through the fender. Now, once you get on the back side of the fender, you're basically going to see this. And to remove it, you just push down and you're going to rotate clockwise from the rear visual. And then everything will slide off. There is, there are a number of clips. I did hang on to one just for the sake of showing y'all how to remove it. So you can see here, basically it's got this little tab here. Most of them under the truck, you can actually just pry and it'll pop up. 
you can get a screwdriver in here and pry it out but it's got this little hook right here that's going to catch in a little groove right here so basically you just need to pull outward on this tab to get it to disconnect and it'll pop right out and then everything will come off and then you can slide your plug out of the fender. So in this instance um, we are not reinstalling the plug because we are in South Louisiana and the chances that he's actually going to need it are extremely minimal but we will be putting it in the glove box for him to hang on to um, just in case of emergencies. So as you can see, that was a pretty quick fix. As always, take pride in the things that you do. Uh, just do what you can to make things look good, to work well. Uh, I've already heard when I was reading, trying to find the removal process, uh, I'd already read a couple of threads where shops had actually just cut those wires because they didn't feel like figuring out how to remove it properly without permanently damaging the harness. It took, what, five minutes to get through the process? Just take your time, slow down, take a step back, look at it, stare at it, have a cigarette, whatever. Just take your time, slow down, figure out what you need to do to get it right so that you can actually put everything back together properly without having a bunch of freaking butt connectors and shit all over a brand new truck. I hope that helps. Um, if it saves anybody some time or the headache of cutting a harness and then trying to figure out how to splice it back together and hoping that your splices aren't cheap and uh, you know end up burning somebody's truck to the ground, just take a few minutes and get it right. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. As always, please like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate any support. I don't know where this is all going, but uh, you know, I'd like to keep building as we go. Appreciate your time.